Welcome back to The Hub, where it is now time for The Pulse. And for that, we bring in Dave Moody, the godfather from SiriusXM. Dave, great to have you with us. As always, let's start big picture with Clint Boyer snapping that 190 race winless streak this past week and a big moment for him in Martinsville. That was a huge moment for him in Martinsville. It's been a long, long time. He suffered long and hard to get here. We talked to him earlier in the week, and as you might expect on Tuesday, a little fuzzy, and I think tequila might have been to blame. Your peers coming to victory lane after all these years, and, and uh, I've had my tail kicked from Jimmy at Martinsville, as we all have uh, for a lot of years in my career, and for him to be in victory lane and to uh, sincerely be happy for you, is, it, it means a lot. I've been in this deal a long time. Um, I ain't slowing down any. It's, it's still, to me, a blast and a thrill to go um, to the racetrack and, and see people, see your peers, race the, the competition, um, the fans, you know, the whole thing. That was 3 p.m. Eastern time on, uh, on Tuesday, Caitlin, and the fact that he was out of bed upright and speaking English was a big shock. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. Now, we saw there in those clips a lot of fellow competitors coming over congratulating Clint. Drew, why do you think this was such a popular win amongst the folks in the garage? Well, Caitlin, I, I think his, his big personality, he's a grassroots racer. I think everybody in the garage respects the way Clint Boyer came up through the ranks, starting in ARCA and being noticed by Richard Childress and then winning winning races when he got into the two AC Delco car and then moving up to Cup Series. I think all these guys respect the way he came about it and his huge personality. I think Clint Boyer is one of the guys in the garage that reminds us how fun it is we get to what we get to do for a living. Hey Dave, what yeah. about yeah. Hey, hey Dave, what about uh, the fans reaction to the double header? I think you know, for, for crew chiefs, it was nice to be able to see the trucks before before the event on, on Monday. But what did the fans say about being able to see two great races in one day? Look, they loved it. I, I mean, we didn't hear from a single person this week that, that didn't love the idea. Now, now, granted, I don't know if it's something we want to do every single week. There was certainly a lot of sentiment out there for maybe a, a truck series, Xfinity series doubleheader that would be a little, a little shorter overall than adding cup on the end. But, you know, if you've got to get snow out every decade or two. Uh, I guess making them both up on a Monday afternoon is the best way to go. Well, we've talked about the people in the garage reacting to Clint's win. Uh, Dave, how did the fans react? What, what was kind of their take well, after Martinsville? It, he, he is, to say the least, Caitlin, a man of the people. And, you know, people identify with him. You know, uh, back before we lost Dale Earnhardt, uh, the man was a multimillionaire at that point in his career. We all knew that. But you saw him, you know, dragging hay out to feed the horses and, and, and scattering stuff on the ground for the chickens and, and on his backhoe digging stumps out of the ground. He was a common man and a lot of people see Clint the same way they remember you know that Richard Childress had to had to you know knock the uh, the bondo dust off his shoulders when he asked him if he wanted to come race his his cars a few years ago and Clint's not far removed from what he was then yeah definitely a relatable guy now Martinsville's in the books next is the off week what's your hit list for the the off weekend coming up Dave well Three things that I think are good, and I had to think awfully hard about uh, to find anything good about an off weekend because the show, after all, is not called NASCAR Vacation Hub. I mean, we're here because we kind of like racing. But it allows the teams, particularly the smaller teams, to get caught back up after a very difficult West Coast swing. It allows a lot of us to get caught back up on the honeydew list and the yard work. And uh, quite honestly, for Clint Boyer, after 190 races without a victory, he gets two consecutive weeks to be undefeated that's probably the best part that's a heck of a party he's gonna have for the next two weeks that's for sure and I can tell you I'm for sure liking number one on your list small teams time to regroup and maybe catch up a little bit yeah you know what I'm talking about there right yes for sure yeah all right thank you Dave very much for your time we'll see you next week we appreciate it as always thanks Caitlin